All right, let's watch this video. Turkey Peaks, right off the bat. Okay, I already know what the kind of video this is going to be. All right. Okay, gunner retention. Turkey Peaks, he doesn't pie at all. He's just blowing off corners. Don't worry about the dead space. No big deal. Shooting somebody from three inches away. Okay, Turkey Peaks with one-handed. I just don't understand that. Now he's taking the knee in an open threshold in a room that he has yet to secure. Running to the targets. Checking dead space with his eyes, but his gun is fixated on that target. Running into an open threshold. Okay, taking a knee again. Shooting into another room when he hasn't even cleared his own room. Again, engaging another target from about three inches away. That was hard to watch. That was hard to watch. It's these kind of CQB videos that I like to show you guys because I want to show you what one looks like. There are a lot of ways to actually conduct CQB, even one man CQB. There are in fact a couple different ways. There is a deliberate, a hasty, and a dynamic way to do one man CQB. But none of that is being demonstrated by this gentleman. And if he is doing it, he's blowing off security left and right. In CQB, we say the security is paramount. There is no security here whatsoever. From his turkey peaks, which will probably get him shot on the third and fourth peak if there was somebody pointing a gun at the doorway from the other side. To the turkey peaking with the gun of retention one-handed, so he's not even looking through his sights when he is turkey peaking. He comes up to open thresholds and he is not doing any kind of pieing or anything. So in CQB, there's three there's three phases: roles of responsibilities outside of the threshold, the roles of responsibilities upon making entry, and then roles of responsibilities once you make entry into the room. We're not seeing any of that because what he's doing is basically just running a Hogan's Alley with a bunch of turkey peaks, the gunner retention, and he's engaging targets as he sees them. He's not digging corners, he's not collapsing sectors, he's not going to some kind of point of domination. He is going directly to these targets. Imagine if there was more than one target and this is the only target he saw. So now he runs directly to the target. In other words, he's allowing the threat to dictate his actions and his movements. And as he's being fixated by these, getting sucked into the room by these targets, there could be another one to three other bad guys that could be shooting him. Again, no security that way. What should have been, what he should have been doing was at least trying to do some kind of pie method to gain what he could inside that room that would tell him which way needs more attention or which way is more of a threat. And then as he's entering the room, he could dig the corner in that direction and collapse his sector of fire as he's making his way to some point of domination, meaning keeping a wall to his back and not going to the center of the room, which now is a 360 environment that he cannot handle by himself because of all the opposing threats. On top of that, he's shuffle stepping. There is no shuffle stepping in CQB. I mean, there is no specific footwork that we teach in CQB. We tell you guys just to walk, just to walk and trust your feet and then, you know, traverse from the hip and engage targets. But this shuffle stepping and all that is just going to throw his shooting uh, platform off in case he does have to take shots as he's shuffle stepping. So again, wrong. Taking a knee to open threshold to either reload your pistol or fix a malfunction is completely wrong. Again, breaking the principle of safety He's taking a knee in the open threshold. There is no place in CQB where you have to take a knee, guys, unless you are doing something on the ground, like treating somebody or picking up something. If you're just getting yourself ready or getting your gun ready, you don't need to take a knee. But when you do it in open threshold, especially in the room where you haven't cleared yet, again, you're just asking to be shot. Okay, so we shouldn't be in a hurry to run into a room to get shot, especially if we're by ourselves and we lack security, manpower, and firepower. We, in fact, probably need to use a more deliberate method so that we can put safety first and, and not get ourselves shot. None of that is being demonstrated. In fact, has, has gained the intel of this entire layout and now he's blowing through his actual principles of CQB as a one man and just going straight to the target because he knows exactly where the targets are. So these are the type of companies that we need to stay away from. These are the type of secure, or, or, excuse me, CQB instructors and CQB companies that we need to avoid. In fact, as instructors, we need to call these companies out. We need to call these instructors out and say, what are you doing? This is wrong. You're going to get somebody hurt. You're going to get somebody killed if you keep teaching this. However, since we can't do that, and since I don't know who this company is, I'm just going to post this video and tell you guys that this is all wrong. Do not go to a CQB training uh, course that tells you to turkey peak and 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 not dig not dig corners and 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 take knees inside of open thresholds please don't do it you are setting yourself up for failure just like this instructor is setting this student up for failure or he may be an instructor in that case which is even worse if you do have any comments questions or concerns put them down in the comment section and i'll address them and we can all learn from those otherwise subscribe to the channel turn on that notifications bell so that you get the alerts on when we post new videos and stuff like that 
And also go to 2AlphaTrainingGroup.com, sign up for the newsletter, check out our course calendar for 2024. We have some actual CQB courses coming to you uh, this year in 2024, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.